What's up guys, I'm Sean. Today we'll be installing a low pressure fuel pump sensor on a 2009 BMW 335i with the N54 engine. And here is the low pressure fuel pump sensor. This actual sensor itself is roughly $80, but this part number from BMW has an upgraded tube that comes with it that's supposed to be better against uh, vibration. So this is the part now from BMW. It's roughly about 150 to 180 bucks from BMW. So the sensor is actually under the intake manifold. Some people actually take off the intake manifold, but that's too much work. Another thing we can do is take off the intakes. Mine is aftermarket intake. Take off your charge pipe. Mine is an aftermarket charge pipe. Take off the throttle body, and then we're gonna to get to the uh, sensor underneath. So the first thing we do is take off the, your uh, intakes, and then take off your charge pipe. So the intakes are off and the charge pipe is off. Um, if you don't know how to do that, watch my blow off valve video and it'll show you step by step how to remove the uh, intake and the uh, charge pipe. Now we have to remove the throttle body. To remove the throttle body, there's four 10 millimeter bolts. One, two, and underneath it you can feel for it. Two more underneath. With the four bolts removed, the throttle body is loose. Take off the throttle body, squeeze the plastic that goes there and then take off the clip that goes on the other side by just squeezing the tab. So after removing the throttle body, we just have to take off this uh, plastic box. You can see the tabs that slide into here. So you just gotta use a screwdriver, pull on those tabs while you pull down and out and away. It's a pain ass to do, but you can eventually pull this out. And now, there's the low pressure sensor right there, right behind it. So we're gonna move this whole pipe and replace it with the new one. And now we're gonna unplug this connector that goes directly into the low pressure fuel pump sensor. And we're gonna unplug this connector to give us more room so we can access this right there. And then pull it from, and access that bolt right there and pull this whole pipe out with the sensor. So some of the connectors out of the way for more clearance. We're gonna remove the hose with a 17 millimeter open end right there, 17 millimeter open end, and an E12 Torx to remove that. So this is the new and improved um, low pressure fuel pump sensor. To remove the, uh, the old one, you just push this blue uh, plastic thing in and then pull this pipe out. But this is the new one. So now I'm gonna grab the connector and then reinstall the connector. And with the new sensor and tube we're in, you just tighten this right here to uh, snug. I don't know what the torque specs are, but it didn't take much to break it loose and it's impossible to have a torque wrench on that anyway. So just make it snug by hand. Um, and then tighten this and start putting everything back together. Now everything's put back together. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.